This is not an anti-military film at all. I think no matter what your position is, no matter what your party you might belong to, no matter what position you might take on the wars, I mean, we can all agree this country should protect the people that are protecting us. I'm Kirby Dick. Uh, my film is called The Invisible War, and it's part of the U.S. documentary competition at the Sundance Film Festival. The Invisible War is a film about the epidemic of rape in the military. There's hundreds of thousands of uh, men and women who've been raped over the last several generations. We thought there's got to be one or many documentaries made on this subject. And so we, we researched that and found out there wasn't and immediately said, well, this is a film we want to make. One of the challenges in making this film is there's so much shame around this. And uh, so there were very few subjects that were actually out in public. There were some. The stories were horrific. Women's lives are devastated. I mean, they come out, they have PTSD that's much more severe than men in combat. All of them slept with guns in their bed. I mean, that's just common. That's completely common. Nearly all of them had attempted suicide on multiple occasions. It's as devastating as being, a, you know, raped or uh, brutalized when you're a child by an adult. The military is a, a large institution, and it has not, until this time, stepped up and said, we have a very serious problem. I mean, internally, they're acknowledging this, but they, that's only the first step. I mean, what really, if you want a clean house, what you have to do is stand up and say, this is a, a serious problem, this is where it's happening, and this is what we're going to do, including going after very, very aggressively these serial rapists. And they haven't done that yet. Once we, you know, traveled all the way to their home and sat down with them, and they realized that for the first time in their lives, somebody with some kind of authority was actually listening to them and believing them. They really opened up in ways that were, was just astounding. I'm a filmmaker, I think it's a very rich subject matter, but the real, you know, the, the most central reason Amy and I made the film was that we wanted to help change the situation. And the first thing is to let people know about this. I mean, I think it's in some ways, it's the most underreported significant crime in the country. It really is.